Greetings YouTube. Today I'm going to start a new craft project. We have here is a two inch wide putty knife and two pieces of hardwood trim oak. I have a coworker of mine and she is five foot one and shrinking. Um, five foot actually I believe. And she has a hard time reaching the backs of the molds quite frequently. So my goal here is going to be to take this putty knife, remove the plastic handle, and then put new handles on it that will be this long, giving the putty knife a complete reach of 13 inches, which is going to give her ability to reach anywhere she wants to with the putty knife without issue. I am currently using some flush mount screws. I tried to find ones that would allow me to countersink them so that they would be uh, nice and smooth, but the wood I'm working with is only a quarter inch thick. Even with the blade added in, it just isn't enough. Um, it, there isn't enough space to use the, the screws I had access to. Because the only thing I could find at the hardware store were half inch screws, and the and that means that they would stick through the boat through the other side. So I've gone and decided to go with flush mounted ones. They're not going to look quite as nice, but that's just the way it is. Nothing I can do about that. I don't have access to any of this 3 8 inch screws, which is what I need. And I want to get this project done this week while I'm on vacation. So, next step, removing the plastic handle. Alrighty, so now I have the putty knife in question set up on uh, my bench with a vise, uh, with, a, with a clamp, I should say. Thank, I thank my grandfather for that one. He left that to me. And I'm going to be using this... Um, flush cut hacksaw blade to, uh, to cut, cut into like like that. That's my goal is to cut straight across cutting through that pin and that grommet freeing the, the plastic handle and then I get to look at what the handle with the, the steel looks like so I may have to trim that I don't know. Welcome back. So we've now got the putty knife blade free of the handle and this is what it looks like, and now I'm going to figure out how much I'm going to have to take off of this handle to get it to um, fit my needs. I had to break out my actual hacksaw. That smaller one wasn't uh, cutting it, and I just turned the blade so it was at 90 degrees to its current position and used it to uh, to cut this. I also took I also uh, set this up up on my porch on the banister because it was a more solid surface to work on. Um, and I've broken up some more of my clamps because I'm going to be needing both now and probably in the near future when it comes to time to put this whole thing together. Alrighty, so here we have the putty knife with the handle now the same width all the way um, down here as it is up here. Um, so my next step is going to be to take this piece of uh, hardwood, which is a corner molding and cut off one side because the width of this right here is perfect. That width is perfect. And it's got a nice bull nose on both sides so that I don't have to worry about doing that. I'll just have to, you know, clean up the ends a little to make it look nice. So I need to cut off one side. Okay folks, here is my Dremel scroll saw which I have set up with a guide here. So I'm going to attempt to run my molding stock through there and cut off what I don't want. Um, we're gonna we're gonna see how that goes. So I went and ended up having to cut these things freehand. I actually tried to use that guide I set up, and it just kept binding up on me. So I had to cut them freehand. A little annoying, but you no, know, I was able to sand them down and make them the thickness I wanted. I then pre-drilled the holes for the screws and then I went to assemble it and promptly snapped the oak right in half. So I completely scrapped that idea, went back to square one, thought to myself, okay, if this isn't going to work, what will? So I went out and I got myself a piece of this. This is a piece of aluminum tubing. It was feet long when I started 
I cut it to length. I flattened it. I drilled a hole. Then I put a 10 24 3 8 inch bolt and a 10 24 hex nut on there. And there we have the completed device. It is now significantly longer than it was before. Sorry for the glare. Um, significantly longer than it was before. It is heat proof. I don't have to worry about getting banged up. Uh, and this is a prototype. Basically it's made out of aluminum. If I just figure out that it, it does actually work and it causes any problems for, for uh, ED and, that, and down the line, I can always make a new one of these out of steel. Get myself some steel conduit. I just wanted to use aluminum to see if it would uh, would work because you know it's going to be a little easier to work with than, uh, than, than uh, steel. So there you have it. One putty knife with an extension on it. So hopefully next week when I give it to uh, to uh, Edie, she'll find it useful.